What's up everybody? It's your boy JP back again with another video and today I have the Pogo X3 GT and let me tell y'all this phone is a fantastic buy especially if you can get it for 300 you may spend a little bit more I got off of eBay a few weeks ago for about 360 I think and um, and, and, and honestly it, it was worth that it was worth that um, this phone, uh, was, uh, was, as you know, Pogo is Xiaomi sub brand and the X3 GT was actually announced just a week after the F3 GT. Um, now, as many of you know, I had the, uh, the Redmi K40 gaming edition, which later on became the Pogo F3 GT. Uh, but it appears like that's an India exclusive because, um, the X3 GT here was released, uh, you know, was announced a week after that, and it's been released globally, not just in India. Um, but for those of you that don't know, this phone is is also just a rebranded phone. Um, this is a rebrand of the Chinese exclusive uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro 5G. But uh, you know, you know, obviously global ROM, not the Chinese ROM. Um, and, you know, much to my surprise, I, you know, I figured this and the F3 G2 would be released, you know, globally. And, and, and you know, because the F3 G2 was announced first, I'd get that first, etc. But, uh, no, it, it's, um you know, I can, you know, I, I can get it, but it's just coming from India. It's priced higher. I mean, it's priced even higher than it would have, than it would if it came from China for some reason. You know, well, well, actually, I you know, you're, when they come from China, it's actually when they're the cheapest, actually. But, but then... You know, but then you, you're dealing with a China, China ROM and not a global one. But what I mean to say is getting it from India, importing it from there, it seems to be higher than other places, um, you know, like uh, like uh, like European regions, the United Kingdom, you know, in, you know, places like that where, um, you know, where these um, where these global variants, you know, oftentimes come from, you know, um, it's, um, you know, some of your other um some of your other Asian countries besides China. But, um, you know, I, I, at this point, I'm not really worried about the F3 GT anymore. I, I did want it, but, you know, I'm kind of moving on past that. You know, if I can get it for a good price, I will not bring it to the channel. Um, but for now, the X3 GT, my variant um, is the Wave Blue. Real nice. The texture on here is really different. Don't know if you can hear that, if you can catch that on the camera there, but... um trying to focus there y'all i'm sorry having a real tough time here but um there it goes but yeah it's just a it, it's a really odd texture and I, I really like it um it's really premium feeling it, it's 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 plastic for the most part uh but it does have gorilla glass victus on the front it has a triple camera system right there uh, eight gigs of ram uh 128 gigs internal storage, no expandable memory. I actually thought this one had expandable memory. I thought that the that the Redmi Note 10 Pro 5G, you know, uh, had expandable memory, but obviously it did not because when this came out and it didn't, I had to pull up the specs for that one to see, and it didn't. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it is what it is. Um, this does have the expanded RAM capability uh, where you can add more RAM to it, which... Um, which I'm just a really big fan of. You know, I first saw that on the uh, on the global Realme GT, and just thought that was the coolest thing. Um, this phone is like the uh, is like the Motorola Edge 2021 that I reviewed last. Uh, it only lets you add just two more gigs of RAM via software, not five like the uh, Realme GT did. Um, uh, but nonetheless, it's a really cool feature. I mean, you're essentially giving this phone 10 gigs of RAM, which is just awesome. Um, but um, let's see. I mean, um, let me tell you a little bit more about the camera right quick. I know I barely touched on it there, but it is a 64 megapixel. Uh, it does have Dolby Atmos dual stereo speakers, by the way. Um, it, is, it is a 120 hertz. Um, it does have a 120 hertz refresh rate, but it's not AMOLED. It's, I, it's, uh, it's LCD. But again, the price, you expect that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Again, Gorilla Glass. Uh, you know, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, the best of the best. It does have a 67-watt turbo charging, which is included in the box here. 
which is a USB cable right there, obviously. You got your jail case, some stickers, your paperwork, your SIM removal tool there. Um, you got a, uh, an adapter. This doesn't have a headphone jack, but it, it does come with an adapter, uh, which is, you know, you know, companies don't do that anymore. So that's just really cool to see that there. That's something that they don't have to do because no one else is doing it. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of giving you a view of the rest of the box. There nothing, nothing to see here. Um, but, um, you know, um, and of course, this kind of lets you know it's the global version right here. But, um, but yeah, I mean, um, um, all in all, you know, uh, fantastic phone. The performance is amazing on this device. Um, and that's kind of, and that's kind of, you know, where, where I'm going at with this. I'm, I'm saving the best, the best for last year. It does have a MediaTek Dimensity 1100 chipset. And uh, that's right, 1100. Not 1200, but not Dimensity 1000 either from last year. Um, it is, it's, it's basically just a toned down version of the Dimensity 1200. Uh, the, 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 the cores are, are clocked lower. Uh, it's more efficient, obviously. Uh, it's still built on a six nanometer uh, on a six nanometer node, just like the Dimensity twelve hundred. Sorry for the uh, by the way, there, y'all. I know uh, sometimes I get comments on that, and, and, and people don't like that. I don't try to do that. I just been doing it here. I, I uh, been up since early, early, early this morning for work, but uh, so just have to excuse me on that there. But for an LCD screen, it gets very bright. The refresh rate is amazing. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's not bad at all. Um, and just kind of, of course, you're not going to see it on camera, of course, but, uh, 5G does work on AT&T here in the U S. Um, I don't know about T-Mobile. I didn't get a chance to really test it, but, um, I'm pretty sure it does, but don't hold me to it. But, um, it's, it, it does work on AT&T. It works really good. And, um, I, I, I also got, I also got voice over LTE to work as well on AT&T, which a lot of these foreign phones can't. Uh, Xiaomi phones at one time couldn't even when 5G would work. I wasn't able to always get voice over LTE. Um, now, now if you're now if only your your Realme phones will uh, will follow suit. Those are uh, you know 5G on those are starting to work here in the US on AT and T, but not but not voice over LTE. And I'm having to really tone down my purchases on these on these kinds of devices because AT and T, who's my main carrier, you know they're um, they're not. They're not, um, sorry, there y'all. They're not, they're not, um, what am I trying to say here? After February of 2023, or 2022, I'm sorry, they are, I got distracted there. Next February, basically, they're shutting down the, um, they're, they're shutting down the, uh, the 3G network. So if your device doesn't have Volte, it, it's not gonna, um, it, it's, it's, um, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted by one of my dogs here. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, it, it's with, without the 3G network, you know, and, and without without Volte working, a lot of these phones are going to be incapacitated. Even though they have the specs to work, at and is not going to allow them to work. Um, so, you know, your Xiaomi phones are, you know, are, are, are getting better and better and better. So I'm hoping those were, will, 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 you know, uh, survive that change. But uh, Realme is going to have to do something quick and have to catch it to Xiaomi, you know, for those to survive. Like I said, I just started getting 5G working on those phones this year within the past like three or four months. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm just uh, – that's just really going to suck for the channel because y'all know I love Xiaomi's products. And 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 because even though I'm getting Volte to work on them, they're not, they're not really working. They're not – Sometimes it'll display LTE when I'm on a phone call, but it's still on HSPA plus or HSPA. And I don't know why it does that. It doesn't always does do that, but it does that half the time. Um, you know, so I'm just, I'm still not, I'm not quite convinced that these will fully work. So don't hold me to it. I'm just going to really hate when that comes and these don't work at all. But um, with that said, with that said, the, uh, th this phone is a fantastic performer. Uh, the Dimensity 1100. I mean, you're basically getting the 1200. You're basically getting. I mean, they still consider this a flagship chipset, and and this basically what you're getting. It's just it's just clock lower. Again, it's more efficient. You're going to get more battery life out of it. Um, but they do really have this phone set up to be more of a gaming centric phone, still like the F3 GT. You just don't get those cool pop up triggers. Obviously, uh, this is a much cheaper device. 
would I recommend this over the the uh, the X3 Pro that came out earlier this year with the new Snapdragon 860? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you're getting 5G here with the uh, with the X3 Pro. You did not, and then and the Snapdragon 860 is just like a 855 plus plus, if you will. And the Dimensity 1100, it's 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 going to score below it in benchmarks, but not too far below. Um, not 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 far not not far below enough for it to, if I'm saying that right, uh, for it to really matter. Um, it's um, it's it's just. Uh, I'm trying to get my words straight here, y'all. It's just not the the performance. The, the performance for the 1100, for the Dimensity 1100, is, it, it's there. It's there against the Snapdragon um, 860. Um, I mean, I, I, would, I, would, I would wholeheartedly choose this device over the, um, over the X3 Pro any day of the week. And, of course, the X3 NFC, that kind of goes without saying. That device is almost a year old now. Uh, but, but, yeah, with the, um, with the, um, the Dimensity 1100, I, I mean, and, you know, I, and I could be wrong, too, about those benchmarks. That, I mean, it, it could score the same as the 860 Snapdragon, if not maybe a little bit more. But, um, but, but um, it's, it's, um, I mean, I, I, if it, you know, if it is below, it's not, it's not far below. <laughs> you know, let me just put it like that there. It's, um, this thing plays any game I've thrown at it. Um, and, and it's just, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a powerhouse. And again, you get 5G, you get, you get 5G with the other one. You don't, you know, with the Snapdragon 860, it doesn't have the 5G modem built in. Um, now being that it's based on the 855, you know, manufacturers can put the 5G modem in there cause it's modular. And, 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 you know, there were phones with the 855 and 855 plus that had the, uh, the 5G modem. Uh, but to this day, the, um, the Pogo X3 Pro is the only phone out with the Snapdragon 860. So it remains to be seen. We have to actually wait on someone to actually do it to, you know, to see it. And at this point, I don't see why it even matters. Um, you might as well, you know, they might as well use the 870 um, or the Dimensity 1100 right here, or the Dimensity 1200, um, even the Dimensity 900, um, you know, which was which was announced around the same time the Dimensity 1200 AI was announced, which is used exclusively in the uh, OnePlus Nord 2. And uh, if y'all watched my video to that phone, I, I raved about that phone's performance. But um, the cameras work really good on this phone, too, I have to say. Uh, you know, for what you're getting, they work really well. Um, again, the game is great. The refresh rate is great. The screen is great, despite not being an OLED. You know, um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not really... I think I've pretty much just gone over everything and rambled on. But uh, y'all don't sleep on this phone here. If y'all can get it for a good price, it is definitely worth it. it, it it's a fantastic performer. Anyways, y'all, I will check on the next video. Peace out.